Love runs deeper than any ocean. Cloud your mind with the motion. But everybody plays a fool sometimes. No exception to the rule. Listen, baby. It may be factual, it may be cruel, but I ain't lying. Everybody plays a fool. How can you help it? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, the DJ. That's why I like to talk about this mental stuff, you know, because it's, it's really important that we deal with our mentals, okay? And as much as I don't like to talk about people personally or say anything that's disruptive, I'm going to say this in love, and that is... Me constantly seeing Boosie, yeah, Boosie, Boosie, Boosie badass, um, making derogatory comments um, that just really have no place. And y'all know, I, I, I defend him a lot. Like I told you, I, I sat in with when he uh, interviews with Homer Blower a lot, okay? Or the time he uh, came to me uh, here and... For Mike McGee, I thought, and he did a concert, actually, um, for young kids, the young people. And I thought that was okay. A lot of them that really went for that music and his rap style was there until it had some fighting going on right out in the middle of the boulevard. I was like, oh, shoot, he kind of, this music is real ratchet, <laughs> Okay. Because I hadn't really heard of him, to tell you the truth. But no, as I begin to listen to him, and like I said, him being a, um affiliate with Homer Blow every time he come through Milwaukee, um, I, I saw a different side. But now I have to, I have to address the hypocrisy, and, and I, I wouldn't be me if I didn't. Because, see, as a person, like I told you, that ran a group home, I totally disagree with how you raised your children. However, they are your children, okay? That's why half of it is dysfunctional. You, 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 won't, you talking about Tootie being in Baton Rouge and you don't want him there, okay? But everything you've showed him directs him there. All the life experiences that you did and showed him and did in front of him draws him right to that place. So ain't no sense in you trying to act like, um, I tried my best to get up out of there and look up, you know, not here in the suburb. And I'm not, uh, listen, the seeds you planted, and since you come from a Southern Baptist background, what a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Remember that? So you done sold them seeds already. Okay? So you can't be pissed off when it comes back to 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 rise up. Okay? And 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 I can't stand. If I, this is what I would tell you, if you came back here to see Homer blow and we sat down, I could chop it up with you again. I would let you know. Um I don't I I I find it very dehum it's it's like dehumanized and I know that's not who you want to be you know and it's got nothing to do with somebody trying to tell you when you speak your mind the first thing is you pick your audience and if that's how you feel that's how you feel but I would challenge you to say most of the things you say are dehumanizing to the spirit of females and women in the first place Okay, you presented yourself that way. 
You got all those kids with all those women, different women, different energy, different pH balances, but you didn't mind doing this. And now you want to call your little girls who are teenagers now, who are not wanting, willing to live the fairy tale and the lie anymore, but are allowing their feelings about you to really come forward. Especially that one that's probably just like you. Um, what's her name? I told y'all, niggas. I told y'all. Yeah. <laughs> that's who you're not getting along with and you say you shouldn't talk. She should never talk to her father that way. But your, a father should never call his daughter a bitch either. A father should never, ever do that. Because at the end of the day, he's the highest. He's the first man a little girl falls in love with and when he disappoints her kills her spirit see and when you somebody nobody can't say nothing to because hell if you if you buck up to your own mama it, most people that feel some kind of way ain't gonna say nothing to you because that's the dysfunction of a lot of us in our black families it's like if you grow up with a preacher you know and he think he's 100% right. And he's saying crazy shit that ain't got nothing to do with that Bible. Okay? It's his own personal beliefs. And he's pushing it off on everybody else. And everybody don't want to deal with that. So it's not you speaking. You, you, you're trying to force them into your truth. And I think that's a bad thing to, to do. I know you don't want to hear this, but I wish somebody could get this to Boosie. He, he'll he recognize my voice. He should. I mean, and then I got, lastly, I want to know, why did you take the girls to see that in the first place? If First of all, um, what made you think it was okay? You want to talk about you walked out because it was a gay love story. Did you see, did you, first of all, did you read the book? Because it is the book that was that was turned into the first um, movie. Do you know who Alice Walker is? She's a woman who likes women. Who used to who's going used to go with? Uh, Give me one reason to stay here, and I'll turn right back around. That was her woman. So what? So first of all, you didn't read the book because you probably don't read enough, okay? And then you got the nerve to say it's a gay love story. Whose fault is that that you don't read and you so misinformed? Because maybe had you read a little bit, you probably wouldn't have took the girls there in the first place, right? I ain't trying to be funny, man, but I'm just, I'm just like, I, I don't like this hypocrisy. And, I, and I'm telling you because ain't nobody else going to tell you. I, I got to say it. Anybody else you going to cut down because they probably, I know how uh, folk like you operate. Really, I do. And I ain't trying to start nothing. I'm just trying to tell you, when sometimes you can hold them and fold them. It ain't got nothing to do with people stopping you from feeling this, you know, what you want to do. Sometimes you're just cruel. And you wouldn't want nobody to be cruel to you. Why, lastly, lastly, why you feel it's okay to let Ray Ray or Tootie get sucked off and then you talk about your daughter being a bitch and having sex behind the bleachers and um, doing uh, or talking about her like a dog. Um, but you are also promoting that with your sons. You don't feel it's a problem. In fact, you're giving them brownie points. Come on, dude. Come on. I'm saying this as a person who have met you before, who hollered at you before. You might hope you remember. Talking about 2007, 2006 maybe, around that time. Okay? You got Aviana, Poison Ivy who's just like her daddy, 
I mean, walking in your fir- footsteps, she's your firstborn. And see, as a father, you don't know that the first man that a girl falls in love with is if he's leading in the right way or if he's le- is her father. It takes her growing up to see that, damn, really this nigga ain't shit. But I still love him. He ain't shit. But I love him anyway, in spite of. You have a daughter who's a part of the LGBT community. Now you're, in my opinion, breaking her spiritually. Every time you say something derogatory about same-sex relationships, ain't nothing going to hurt you to keep it to yourself. You ain't got to say every damn thing you think. You don't have to do that. Especially when you're dealing with your own product, your own offspring. You can't do that. And if you continue, all I can think of you showing me just you, you want to control your kids' minds just like you wanted to control um, uh, uh, MJ for wanting to have a different haircut. Control. Now you want to do that, and that's what it looks like on the inside, outside looking in. And from a person who's worked with kids and adolescents for a good majority of the last 25 years you need to check yourself because you're being real hypocritical and I one thing I'm not going to take from you is I know you love your children I know that at the end of the day though you've created a mess and with that mess that you created, you have to be able to take them as they are as well. Because half you wasn't around a lot. You was in jail. They had to figure it out. They had to hear people talk about you. They had to find some of the stuff on their own and figure it out. And you should be giving them credit for that. And leave all that sexuality stuff to God, not you. And I just wanted to say that to you, brother. I just <clears throat> I just hope you don't come out no more with nothing else. I'm sorry, y'all. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. I'll see you in the next video.